There's a structure to language we all learn when we're young, a flow to the words that could almost be sung, something most of us learned from the great Dr. Seuss, with his chartreuse villain's rhythm reminiscent of Mother Goose, and his imaginative world so perplexingly abstruse, told with a simplified language even a kid could deduce. His name was Theodore Geisel, the man who coined the word nerds, and wrote Green Eggs and Ham with just 49 words. He made reading a tool kids could finally enjoy, not like Dick and Jane books, which would bore and annoy. In much of of his work, he used this literary trick. It's a rhyming tetrameter that's anapestic. It's that signature style that's always greeted with laughter. It's just two unstressed syllables and one stressed syllable after. And today, the great Yertle, that marvelous he, is king of the mud that is all he can see. Studies show that that rhythm helps with core memorization and builds children's confidence with classroom dictation. Some constraints on a canvas's language design gives a structure to reading and a writing guideline. You can see all these kids were finally reading by choice, these stories told through the voice of Dr. Theodore Seuss. And yes, Seuss is correct, he's of German descent, it's just harder to say with an American accent. And the semblance to Goose helped skyrocket his fame. Kids preferred saying Seuss, so he stuck with that name. But his acclaim wasn't bound to just one single nation. His stories exported to the gift of translation. The book's phrasing and language in which they were written works perfectly fine in the US or Britain, but to reach out to the world and all of its culture. Hello's not enough, you need hola and bonjour. And not just the words, but the rhyme patterns too, like poisson on, poisson du, poisson rouge, poisson bleu, with designs in the hundreds, all with distinct features. Translators worked hard to rename all these creatures, translating them all with their essence intact, while preserving the fun had a major impact on the habits of reading of kids at young ages. There's so many lessons in the words on these pages.